everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Den. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul with you today um, with a small, well, I got one bag from Dollarama as well and one bag from the Great Canadian Dollar Store um, because we went to Huntsville today and um, it was a spur of the moment trip. We just decided in like five minutes um, that we were going. The, it wasn't snowing, the roads were good, and we needed a few things. Um, we did some grocery shopping and stuff like that while we were out as well. But uh, So I'll start with the Dollar Tree, um, the, all the stuff I got from there first. And I didn't get much in the way of uh, food. But we got two boxes of these colonial, colonial fudge striped uh, shortbread cookies. Now, I've been watching two or three of my fellow YouTubers haul these and talk about how um, yummy they are. And uh, yeah, so I mean, for $1.25, like this is a 368 gram um, package of cookies. So, yeah, they'll go into my cookie jar, no problem at all. And I got um, this placemat, just one. Um, and I only bought it because it had these coffee mugs on here, the, this coffee pattern. And I want to use it for something else. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be part of a different project. So I've got plans for this. So I'm going to leave that right there. I bought two more of these. Let me lift you up just a little bit. Let's see if that works. So two more of these um, caddies because I've got the other one full of craft stuff. And these little compartments are just such a nice nice size to put um, small items in. And um, uh, mason jars fit in here. I can fit three mason jars in here um, fairly easily. So like just, just the uh, small half pint jars but they fit in there nicely and I can organize um, some of my craft supplies in that so I got those and I bought I found two more of these little succulent stems um, that I didn't have before they still have some of the packaging on them there um, but yeah they look they look fairly nice. Um, I'm not sure about this one here because it's uh, it was a little bit different. And it's got this stuff on here that seems to chip off fairly easy. But this one here, um, like when I'm looking at this, I, I, you know, from here, like you could hardly tell that this is not a real... Um, succulent in the garden so and they only had this one of these I would have got two or three of these if they had them and these two um they look like a galvanized um containers but they're probably just aluminum but I'm thinking that they will that's a lot of money that I spent a lot of that was on um things that went straight to the kitchen so but um I got two of these anyway um, and I've got my little, I still can't find any of the small houses. I've never hit a Dollar Tree when they've had any of the little small fairy houses. It's so frustrating. So I got three of the organizer cases. Now, I'm not sure if these are the ones that the... Um, that the girls were doing the embellishment boxes in or not. They've got um, a little bit of a round part here to the um, to the lid. So this almost looks like you could put a small roll of washi tape in here. Um, which would be kind of nice. But, but these ones go down. So they're, they're fairly deep. And these middle ones are shallower. But the, this is a good... 
Well, it's over an inch deep. So I think they'd make great embellishment boxes. So I'm going to try my hand at those. So I thought, not right now, but um, in, in the future, I'll try my hand at those. And I thought I'd grab three of those while they have them. I got... Um, a package of these little organza bags. They're so pretty. Just the white organza bags with the little yellow ribbon. Now they had these in pink. They were in the baby shower stuff. Um, they had them with pink ribbon, blue ribbon, uh, mint green, and this yellow. And then they had a white. But I thought this creamy yellow was really pretty. And I thought there's eight of them in here. And I thought they'd be nice to put some little embellishments in and stick them in when you're doing a swap. I got some rubbing alcohol. Um, I'm going to make some alcohol sprays, um, colored sprays. with just. I'm just going to add the food color to this and see how I can do some of those sprays and see how it turns out. Now, I found this, and I've never hauled this before. It was in the Crafty Kids section. I mean, it's $1.25. It's a glitter glue, and it is, when you look at that, it's almost identical to the um, Stickles one, that, that little wee tube that I use. Um, so depending on what the glue is like on this, I'm kind of hoping that this will look like the stickles when it dries. And if it does, I'll go back and get some. They had it in um, gold and silver and this color. And I'm not sure if there were more colors or not. But I thought, you know, just to uh, just to highlight things with some glitter, I thought that might be, be nice to use. So I'm going to give it a try anyway. And on my list, I had some more of the tape runner. This is a really good tape runner. I, I've, I've gone through two. I'm on my third one, and so I've got another one to stash away. I got a package of the um, two packs of the basket bags. Uh, these look like they're 24 inches by 30 inches, so they'll do a big package and let's see what else I got I got a package of these copper wire LED lights um, I'm, I'm looking at the lights and I didn't realize I've seen other people haul them but I didn't realize how teeny tiny these lights were so I'm um, I'm excited to see what this is like I've got a few um, really cool wine bottles that uh, have some really unique shapes and uh, I thought I'd stick these into a wine bottle and see if I can make some kind of a little night light with them. And I hit the craft section up. Of course, my main reason to go this time was for craft supplies because I I'm scrambling to find supplies to put things together right now. Um, I was actually sitting at my, at my desk working on homemade embellishments um, made out of fabric. I was doing some fabric flowers and things like that when my husband came home from work early and said, Let, let's go to Huntsville. So, yeah, I'm never going to turn that trip down. Um, so I got two packages of the sequins. Um, these are the regular metallic. This is the one, this is the package that I usually always buy. It's got the, um, like the white gold, the yellow gold, um, like the gold gold, the really yellowy kind, the rose gold, silver, black, and this dark, uh, copper color and this copper. Is that eight? Yeah, there's, anyway, there's eight different kinds in there. And this one, I can't remember seeing this color before. And maybe I just never looked at it. I'm sure it's probably always been there. But it's got this amazing purple, this blue, the green, the pink, the yellow, the white. This um, this is kind of like a pink, fuchsia pink 
purple and this is like a really purple and this orange and yeah those are pretty colors for spring and um i am going to start making some shaker pockets and i thought i needed some of these and some of these depending i'm thinking about doing some pocket letters um, in, in which case I'm trying to color coordinate some of my supplies, but I didn't have this. So I picked this up. This is the teeny tiny little wee scoops for beads. I went through some of my old craft supplies that were in packed away in another room and got them out. And I have jars and jars and jars of beads from when I did daycare and did beading with the kids. And I've got lots of nice, you know, big size chunky beads that the kids could use because they have a big hole through them. But I also had a lot of the tiny little seed beads and things like that that would be great for shaker pockets, but I didn't have anything to handle them with. So scoops, I bought a package of sewing thread and for the same reason, look at how pretty these colors are. And I thought, I use um, the eyelash trim, but I only have it in white. I, I haven't found it in, I found it in different colors, but it's not quite the same as the white eyelash trim. Um, it's really, when you put it on something, it's really fuzzy and sticks out and has, it's really thready looking. And the colored ones seem to look like little wee, like really look like little eyelashes. Um, but I thought that these colors would be awfully nice to just pull a bunch off and tangle up and stick behind something so that it just sticks out. So I thought that would be um, good to use for that. And there's a ton on these there's 218 yards each. So, I mean, there's over a thousand feet of string there, which is really nice. So, I hit, uh, oh, I've got one more thing before I hit my stickers. My sticker box was, um, like I got two big bins of stickers and the one bin, I barely have enough stickers left to cover the bottom. And the other one is all planner stickers. So I wanted just the embellishment type of stickers. But I got myself two of these artist canvases. Um, one in each size. So this one is, this one's seven by nine. So this one must be, um, eight by 10. It must be. Yeah, it must be eight by 10. There's, there's no size on here. This one you can color if you want to, but I don't even want to use this size. I thought that I could use this side and do, um, a little display with, you know, a cluster of flowers or something in the corner. I'm not sure yet, but I thought the wooden frames were very nice to use something like that for. And for $1.25, you can't go wrong. So I got those. Now into the stickers. And I went crazy. And I still didn't find everything that I wanted. So yeah, look at all this. So I'm going to drop some of this stuff down to the floor and over to the other table so that I can show you the stickers I got. It's a good thing my chair swivels. Okay, I'll oh, turn them around. Let's turn some of them around. So I'll start with this little one. I got it... Um, just because it was these dream catchers, but on craft paper and they're popped up and they are, these are really pretty. So I got these and there's a 12 count. I got this jeweled. Oh, this didn't come from there. This must have fallen. No, I did. I got this there. The jeweled border. I got almost all jaunt stickers, except for this one. Oh no, I got a few more of the Forever in Time too. I guess my bling is Forever in Time and my 
um, stickers are Jot. So yeah, just the two brands. So I'll start with the jeweled, um, the jeweled ones. So these are, I didn't have hardly a flat back pearl left in my, um, in my container. I had maybe 10 flat back pearls on a little strip like this, but I've never seen these ones before. Like they're these little squares with this zigzag between them. So I, these might be new. I'm not sure, but these just might be new because I haven't seen them before at all. Although I must say that um, dollar, the Dollar Tree up in Huntsville, none of the stores in Huntsville are actually my favorite. But to go to Lindsay, which is a little bit closer, doesn't have a Dollar Tree at all. So it has a Dollarama, but not a Dollar Tree. But I found some of these resin floral accents that are so stinking pretty. And I've been making some shabby chic uh, fabric flowers that need some centers. And I was thinking just maybe these would be really pretty in the center of those. So I got those. I bought four packages of these uh, balloon blast gems and look at the colors. Like a girl needs bling in her life. She really does. At least this girl does. So I got these clear and black. And all they are, they're, they're a different cut. They're like little square cut. But they're really, really sparkly the way the light hits them. Um, they're just a different cut of rhinestone. But, so I got the black and the clear. I got the yellow, the light amber color, and the um, clear. I got the dark and light purple. And the light and the dark blue and the pink and the fuchsia so that should give me some color for a little while just for a little while I've been um, crafting up a storm so I got these butterflies so I got two packages of these butterflies now there's only nine in a package um, for a dollar twenty-five, and that doesn't seem like a huge sale to me. Like that doesn't seem like a big bargain price, but they're so pretty. They look the colors in them like mimic a real butterfly, and they almost look as delicate. And they're the ones that have the like you can see they got the raised wings on them. So. And these ones actually look like, like this one here actually looks like a monarch butterfly. Look at these. They're, yeah, these are really pretty. So re nice, realistic, except for the, the shine. They look like real butterflies. Um, so I got those. And then I found four packages of the jot stickers that I was looking for. I didn't find... <clears throat> excuse me I didn't find the ones that I've seen the girls hauling um, that have the coffee themes and I didn't find there was a lot I didn't find I had the the ones that of all the ones I had on my list this was the only one that I found was these um, cacti and I got two packages of these because now that I've seen them um, like personally and not just in somebody's haul. These are way prettier than they than they look on um on camera. Yeah, these are really pretty. But I found this one. Now this is really really nice. Love the birdhouse and the flower and the green glitter bird and the background of the the flowers is just so pretty and the green glitter on the end for nature very very nice and then i found this um travel theme one um kind of you know says that you're traveling to the beach <laughs> but which isn't always the case but so the word travel welcome to paradise go to the beach um the suitcase 
on the road again. The car with the surfboard on top. Oh, isn't that adorable? Like, I love that one. And the one-way sign. And so I think that these... Um, I think that these are really cool sets. And the only thing was that I just couldn't find the ones that I wanted. There was the coffee theme was the, the main one. And um, there were a few other ones that I saw. Um, oh, I can't think of the girl's name. Um, oh, I believe it was... Um, uh, It might have been Crafty Share Cupcake. Anyway, I'm not sure, but if I if I remember, I'll let you know. But anyway, I got those, and I paid for my order, and I was going out the door, and just as I was going out the door, a girl, one of the employees, wheeled a cart up and put it right by the door when you first came in. So she was just putting it there. And there was a sign on it that said two for a dollar. So with all my bags hooked over my fingers like this in one hand, I went over to see what it was. And it was the 2018 calendars. So they've taken the 2018 calendars off. And I mean, this is only April. We have time to use the 2018 calendars still. But I didn't even look at the fronts of the calendars. I just went through them and looked at the backs of them. So I'll show you what the fronts look like first. So I, got, I paid $2 and I got four calendars. So this was the Disney Princess calendar and you flip it over to see what pictures are in there and look at this see these little squares well these are only about an inch and a half because this is smaller than a normal calendar like I'll show you the difference they had two sizes so they had this is a normal sized one that you usually get. This one is about an inch smaller all the way around. So the art on the back of this is downsized a little bit more as well. But I was just thinking how these would make such adorable um, altered paper clips to mount these on cardboard and, and uh, do a picture on each side and yeah, why couldn't you do that and put two princesses on each side? Or, um, like, there's two aerials, so put one on each side. And um, Princess Jasmine, so she's with the tiger here and here. And then there's, is this, um, is that Mulan? Oh, but look, Brave. Oh, isn't that amazing? There's only one of her. But, yeah, so these will make amazing pa altered paper clips or hidden paper clips or um, anything like that. So I'll show you the pictures that I got. So I got the princesses. I got the other little one. Look at this. It's tank. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Even the front is just gorgeous. But... Look at these. Oh, awesome. Absolutely awesome. And all of these are going to be cut out and turned into altered paper clips. And I mean, I can cut the back page off to do that, but I can still use the calendar. I mean, darn. I can use it for whatever I want. But this, the botanicals in this, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at, look at how absolutely gorgeous they are. And these are two inches, two by two inches. Um, oh, take a look. Are you seeing these? Oh my goodness. Look at the daffodils. Oh, like I saw this and I, this was the first one and it was laying like this on top of the pile. So it was the first thing I saw. I walked up to the car and it said two for a dollar and I just went, oh, yep. Yep. I was done. But <coughs> I've never, I didn't see this calendar at all. Uh, the first of the year when I was looking for a calendar, I didn't see this calendar. 
and it says love of the journey and it's a 2018 12 month but you have got to see this oh I'm so sorry for the glare I'm getting it from my light and from my I'm gonna do this and I'll just show them to you one at a time like it's not oh that's to die for let your light shine wake up and make up um, it says act like a lady but think like a boss I love those classes be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown and be sweet and then it says, love the journey. Look at that bicycle. Isn't that awesome? And then silent night, holy night. They may forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Okay, so yeah, so that was my most exciting find was the back of this. But even this one, like this one's about four by four inches or three and a half maybe by three and a half. And that, I mean, every inch of these calendars will end up being cut up and turned into something. Um, for 50 cents, it's like getting a mini paper pad for 50 cents to do this. So yeah, so that's my tip, my frugal tip. Um, a calendar is like having a mini t a paper pad. So I got those. And then that, I'll tell you why I got so many stickers. Um, one reason is because I'm down really, really low on stickers. But I was going through every single sticker that I could find today. Because I'm, uh, I've entered a swap um, for an altered coffee sleeve. And the theme is coffee and donuts. So I've seen people hauling the coffee mugs, the, you know, the stickers that look like coffee mugs, the whole um, cafe Java type themed stickers and stuff like that. You think I can, and I've seen them before and I didn't get them. And you think I can find any now? So I went into Dollarama because I went into the Dollar Tree and I never found any there. Mind you, both these stores are way smaller than the stores I'm used to shopping at. So, and this is what happens when you go into a store and you're not look you're not finding what you're looking for. So, the first thing that I found, because of course I was perusing stickers, were these butterflies. Like these butterflies are really, really, really pretty. There's only four for a dollar twenty-five. But they're like, look at my hand. Like they're they're huge. These are great big butterflies. Um but so pretty. I just I could they had to come home with me because I couldn't leave them there. Not that I need them for anything, but I had to bring them home. Um so I also got Four of these, and it says stickers. Um, I'm imag I imagine there's something maybe on the back of these that you can peel off. They look like appliques almost, like you have to iron them on or sew them on. But they're pretty. They're really, really pretty. And I'll find a place to use them. Um, another thing that you just you see it and you have to bring it home. So in my last Dollarama haul, I... I uh, I hauled some of the black and gold ribbon, but it was a different pattern. It looked like a little row of, of flowers standing one beside the other. And this almost looks like a, um, like a banner. So I grabbed it because the black and gold is just like way too pretty. I got these rhinestone stickers. They were $2, but these are not like the ones that I've seen before. These are, I'll measure them. Um, where's my ruler? My ruler is right here. 
So these are like way bigger than what I normally get. So if you can see that, these are almost a half an inch wide. So yeah, these are nice big sized. Um, but I'm making some shabby chic flowers and these flat back pearls that are right here are going to be perfect for the centers of the shabby chic flowers. So that's why I got those. It's nice to have a plan, but sometimes I don't. I just buy because I just buy because I like it. So I got for four dollars. I got a bag of paper bags. Um, but I, I got the white ones this time. Um, I debated on the black ones. I might get the black ones the next time I go. They had white, black, and craft. But I buy these because they're, um, a little bit more conform. There's more conformity to the size of these than there is to just the lunch bags that you buy at the grocery store. So when you're using these to craft and make paper bag books, they go together better. And I got the only gift bag I bought at Dollar. I didn't get any at Dollar Tree. This is the only set that I got at. This is just a small one, but it is, I'm on this whole um, vintage Paris theme ever since I had that old calendar from last year or the year before or whatever it was. And there's two here for $1.50. And this print on this craft colored background is so pretty. It's just so, so pretty. So I had to bring those home. And I got two packages. They were $3 each. And there's um, three of the little bins in here. So I ended up with, two, I bought two of them. So I've got six of these small bins, which works out to a dollar a piece for the, for the small bins. But these are much more manageable size to, and it says stackable, which just means that there's a little recessed groove in the lid so that when you put this one, which has the little feet on top of this one, they fit right down inside nicely and they stack like that, um, which makes them nice to fill up and I can get them three deep on the shelves of my big shelving in it and I can probably put four wide which means I could put a dozen of these on that shelf so I just might get them again the next time I go back and that's it that's my there I just had the one bag so that's all I got from Dollarama so mind you I'm still on the hunt for coffee stickers. I think it was coffee stickers that I had on my brain. So that's why I ended up buying this too. It wasn't the coffee. It was, it was the placemat that I was looking for, for the project. It wasn't specifically this print. So I went into, or my husband very graciously offered to let me go into the big Canadian dollar store that, yeah, the great Canadian dollar store. There's one up in Huntsville and I still didn't find any coffee stickers. It's absolutely crazy. I couldn't find, um, craft, like crafting papers, but I found this. This is a gift bag guys. And I could put my camera on the ceiling and it is not going to be far enough away to film this gift bag all in one piece. And this little tag was hanging down and I, and, and you know, gift bags are a pretty sturdy paper. And I got thinking when I looked at it, because I, I'm kind of sugar skull crazy, um, and I thought, look at the colors, like there's the blues, the purples, the orange, the red, the pink, the black. 
and there's these little ones and there's these big ones. And I mean, besides cutting out a piece of this paper and using it for something, I can cut out, like fussy cut, the sugar skulls themselves and look at how many I'd have. Like, I'd have fancy little sugar skulls to put in friend mail forever. So one $4 bag, this was $4, which I think is too pricey to pay for a gift bag. But I decided before I even bought it that I was going to cut it up. So, yeah. They had um, scrapbook paper at the great Canadian dollar store. And they had it all taken apart. They had taken all the packages apart, stacked them on shelves, and they were charging a dollar a page for them. So, I mean, if you've got a 24-page, well, say you've got a 48-page, it was one-sided paper, too. It wasn't two-sided papers. So one-sided paper they were charging a dollar a page for. And I just thought that was absolutely ridiculous. But... I found a jumbo stapler for four bucks. Um, I have a little stapler and I've been having trouble getting it to go through things lately. And I needed a new stapler. And this is heavy too, so I'm thinking maybe it's a good quality. Um, you know, a little bit sturdier than the ones that I'm used to using, the small ones. I found this package of stickers for or stamps for two dollars and I know I can get stamps at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty five but I'm just not seeing the variety at the Dollar Trees that I've been going to I really have to get myself back to Peterborough soon so this was a teen girl it says chic hanging out homecoming party Teen scene, live your dreams, prom, trendy, girls' night out, and sweet sixteen are the are the um, words, and then it's all doodled butterflies, hearts, and flowers. So, yeah, it's it's cute. So I got that. We needed um, an ice pack. So and they had ice bags there for four dollars. Um, this is really heavy. Like I, it's it's really heavy and vinyl lined. Um, there was one that was open there, so I checked it out. And um, yeah, I'm. It's hard when you use a bag a piece. <laughs> they get soggy after a couple of uses. And they had some of these there, and these were two dollars as well. But I grabbed them simply because they were, um, let me get the rest of the stuff out of the bag so it stops rattling. I grabbed these because these three packages were large size. Um, the big flower ones that I hauled, um, a big flower one is almost too big to put on an ATC card. And these, there's four in each one. And but they're big, like they're they're three inches at least. Let me see. Yeah, three inches. So yeah, to get a three inch uh, laser cut wood piece, that's not bad. I keep looking at this one because it says four pieces, but this one's five pieces, and this one's five pieces. This one was four pieces, but they were all $2. But yeah, I have some things in mind for them. They're nice big pieces. I've been, I love using the little wooden ones too. But, and the second last thing I got, or the last thing I got while walking around the store was this um, stamp ink pad from Forever in Time. Oh, I haven't tried theirs yet, um, but... This is different. I haven't seen this color before. It looks like, I'm going to open this because this looks like, through the paper, it looks like a glitter ink pad. So, we'll open it up and we'll see. Oh, it is very 
It's very shimmery looking. Oh, and it is very shimmery. Yeah, so I think that'll be nice. Um, it just says, it doesn't have a color on it. It says stamp ink pad, acid free, forever in time, paper craft collection. There's nothing on the bottom and there's nothing in the packaging that tells you what the color is. Just says great for card making, scrapbooking, and DIY crafts. So that's it. And I'm going through the till, and they have these at the till. So, and these were for these are for my. Um, some of you probably already know her, uh, Bethy. She's sometimes my little crafting helper, my nine-year-old granddaughter. Um, she's so she sometimes helps in the crafty den, and this is a little bracelet. But I have to show you, this is the mermaid scales. Like, isn't that cool? So this is just an ordinary one. Goes around your wrist and Velcros, but it's mermaid scales. She's going to love this. And then, let's take this off of here. This one is the... Look at that. Oh my goodness, she's gonna love this. And this is the, that kind. So, <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? So she, I've already started putting stuff in her, um, in her box that's for stuff that's gonna go in her birthday gift. So I've got another hat in there for her. Um, purple is her favorite color. Purples and blues are her favorite. So, yeah. Um, I just, I saw them and I said to the, the cashier, I said, you know what? You can never have too many mermaid scales in your life. And I was trying to decide which one to buy and I ended up with both of them. So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's been a long one. I, um, I don't want to take up any more of your time today, but thank you very much for joining me. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and if you're not already a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join our little family here. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.